I started covering this story way back in 1999. For whatever reason, it's an awful story and it got me very interested. And then I covered the David Brosh trial a few years ago and same thing, we really wanted to um, sort of get more out of the story. And I thought we never came to an end. The story never came to an end and I thought, you know what, I, for, for, for my purposes, for, for the purposes of the family who lived through this horrible ordeal, I, I think it was somewhat cathartic for them to have their story told and, and important because I think this is an important story. It's never happened before, it may never happen again, but we don't want it to happen. We don't want any family to go through what the Jeffersons have gone through. And, and more than anything else, when I got started, it was to tell their story. And I didn't realize how horrible their lives have been um, and, until I really rolled up my sleeves and got involved. So did your opinion of Mike Danton change as you uh, went through doing the book? Yes and no. I mean, I feel sorry for Mike Danton. I think he's been brainwashed, and I think his view of the world isn't what really happened. And he lives the world through falsehoods and lies and things that aren't true. And so what, what I found, I was disgusted primarily by uh, the abuse that involved his younger brother and how he stood by and watched and did nothing about it because he had primarily gone through the same thing himself. It was like, that's the welcome to the club. You know, his 13-year-old brother was not deserving of that and, and when he turned to him for protection, he was nowhere to be found. I took this project on a little more than a year ago and uh, it beat the hell out of me doing it, but I'm very happy that, that it's been done. Yeah, and have you had any feedback from people yet? So far, the people that have, have read it, uh, either people in the business or people on, t on Twitter that I've heard from or by email, the response ha has been phenomenal. And I, I'm, a, I'm almost overwhelmed by the response so far. And if that's the way people are going to view it, then uh, I, was, I learned today that it's already on one bestsellers list. And it's only been out a week, so that's pretty exciting.